This is really growing. This is the third or fourth year that we've had the Indian market, and each year it grows a little bit more and is becoming more and more successful. I think it's so exciting to have an Indian market in New York. We're honored to have leading Indian artists come up to New York and be here for New Yorkers to enjoy their work. Since the mission of the museum is to bring to people's attention that the native culture is alive and dynamic and well, that's what this art market's all about. There are these tremendous artists that are very, very accomplished, and they're all here, and we have the good fortune of being able to talk to them and get to know who they are and why they're making these beautiful things that they do and be able to buy them as well. Hi, my name is Jody Naranjo. I'm a potter from Santa Clara Pueblo, ninth generation potter. I do a traditional method, which is I dig my own clay, I do a coil method, which is basically like rolling out little coils and adding them onto the piece. Um, I sand them down with sandpaper, polish with a stone, and I pit fire using cow manure. And, um, and then I etch the surface with a knife and I design each piece differently. Like this piece has the, a landscape, so it has the Pueblo houses, and then the fish at the bottom, um, the birds in the sky, and then the hills and the mountains. So this is really what you'll see in New Mexico uh, if you visit there. Uh, my name is Nakona Burgess out of Santa Fe, New Mexico, um, Comanche Nation, originally from Oklahoma. So I'm a painter. You know, I just started drawing as a kid, um, doing all work like that, drawing in school, and probably professionally now, probably about the last 15 years. I always kind of credit our ancestors on why we're here, you know, and a lot of the sacrifices they made. So I paint a lot from historical photographs, and then I do my own photography and uh, use current subjects, and then a lot of animals and things like that. My name is Denise Wallace, and I'm originally from Alaska, but I live in Hawaii now. I am actually demonstrating the process of scrimshaw, um, which is taking the rough material, the, the raw um, tusk, and slab it, and then polish it, and carve it, and then we uh, do scrimshaw on it to replicate the hair and the eyes and tattoos or patterns on the pieces. So uh, I've brought some examples of some of um, the pieces where we've done that with, and I'm showing some of the process here today with my scribe and my inks and um, and then here are some of the, the finished pieces. I'm an Alaska native and most of my designs are from uh, our stories or the animals or the uh, environment. So uh, most of them uh, replicate or are inspired by the culture. My name is Grant Jonathan and I'm from the Tuscarora Nation, which is near Niagara Falls, New York. This is known by museums as Iroquois Whimsies. It's souvenir art that we made and sold to tourists that visited Niagara Falls. I've been beading for about five years. I learned when I was a teenager, but then when I went to school, um, I went to college for nine years and then worked for many, and I just started up again recently. My name is Liz Wallace. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico and I make jewelry for the most part. I brought a good mix. I brought one piece from my classic period. That's what I got known for. Uh, but I like the contemporary. You can see, um, so I have skulls, I have chasing. I also love Art Nouveau jewelry. It's my favorite kind. So I have some clique jour pieces here. Usually I have a dead bug of some kind that someone found for me. I don't kill the bugs. But people find them dead and bring them to me, or I buy them dead. <laughs> and, and so I just, I think they're so beautiful. Like they're kind of creepy and beautiful at the same time. And so, and then I'll look through a book of jewelry, Art Nouveau jewelry, and see how 
see how they dealt with that design, and then I'll try to come up with my own design. I'll draw out a template on paper and cut it out and trace it onto the silver, and then I start constructing the bodies and how it's all going to go together. Young, I saw a 